Alrighty boys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another fighter that was added to EA Sports UFC 5, Mohamed Mukhaev. Once again, I am playing against Balian and he's using TJ Dillashaw. Uh, Mohamed Mukhaev, of course, uh, UFC flyweight, undefeated at the moment, he is 12-0. Uh, his last three matches well i mean his last fight was against alex Perez. he won that by decision but he submitted tim elliott before that submitted jafel feel with his, uh, a neck crank also submitted malcolm gordon and then defeated charles johnson by unanimous decision um his very first fight in the ufc he also won by submission a guillotine choke against cody durden i mean the man is a submission machine he goes out there and he fucking chokes you out that's what he does um, his fight stats in the game are incredible. I mean, the man feels amazing. He is listed as a wrestler. When you take a look at his, uh, take a look at his stats. First of all, with his perks, you've got slam boost, which you, uh, your power takedowns will do more damage. He's got workhorse, which uh, allows you to use less stamina when grappling on the ground. As I take him down right there, boom. He's got grinder. Grinder uses less stamina when grappling on the feet. And then crazy legs, which makes your roundhouse and switch kicks faster and more accurate. You're taking a look at this man's punch speed. His punch speed is a 92. It's not at the higher end of the weight class, but it's it's enough for you to be able to function. His punch power, 90. Accuracy, 89. Blocking, 92. Head movement, 90. Footwork, 91. Switch stance, 80. Takedown defense, 94. Kick power, 92 and kick speed a 93. I believe we're getting closer to where I was able to get this match over as I get him with this first this first arm triangle. But man, with Mohamed Makayev, where you really see his stats shine is when it comes to his grappling stats. With a takedown of 96, top control of 94, bottom control of 90, submission offense of 93, sub defense of 95, ground striking of 94, Claim striking of 92 and clinch control of 95. Oh, yeah. He's a grappler's paradise for sure. As I'm going to get this submission right here. So, this first fight, like I said, was against, uh, against Balian. But then I had a second one against a much, much, much tougher opponent in Zayaf. Zayaf is a He's one of the best players in this game. And uh, you guys are going to see how that match went very, very shortly. I figured I'd, you know, throw in someone that's actually really, really, really difficult to fight. And I say, Billion feels good to fight, man. He's, he plays very sim. He's a good player. But uh, it is a different beast when you're fighting someone like Zayaf. So this second fight right here is against Kai Kara France. Zayaf is using Kai Kara France. And I'll just let you guys... Uh, you guys enjoy the fight, man. Don't worry. I'm still here to commentate. I know some of you are like, wait, 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 wait. Are you saying you're done commentating? We're just going to watch the fight? No, nah, don't worry. I hate when creators do that. All right. So uh, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the fight, okay? And I'm not going to talk anymore. It's like, bro, the commentary is part of the enjoyment of the fight. If you're not talking and you just let me watch the match, it's not the same. Now, right there, I try to shoot on him. You'll notice this happened to me quite a few times. Like, I think that I have the stamina lead. I try to shoot him bail, but he does a very good job of denying those takedowns. And let me tell you, dude, playing Zayaf on land, he already has very good takedown defense over the internet, but when you play him on land, his takedown defense is way more cracked than you could even possibly imagine. Now you'll notice <laughs> he up kicks me right there. You'll notice at one point he went to my body uh, with two double hooks and then slipped to the side. This is something you'll notice a lot of very high level players do, right? A lot of players when they go to your body they pull back. But some of these other higher level f uh, players when they go to your body with multiple shots they slip to the side, which is why a lot of times with these guys I look to throw a hook. Uh, I either throw a hook to their head or I use I go for an elbow to try to catch them slipping. And that time I caught him with an elbow. As he pivot lunges right there. 
I remember while playing, I was like, oh look, Zayaf, pivot lunging. The only, the only person I see use the pivot lunges like very frequently is Romero, but Right there, I tried to bail again, but I guess I didn't have the advantage like I thought I did, so. <clears throat> he denies it. I shoot again. He denies it very easily. In terms of uh, Mohamed Makayev's uh, health stats, his cardio is a 94. So a pretty good cardio in his weight class. His chin is a 92. As I should have taken down again, that gets easily stuffed. His body health is a 92. His leg health is a 93. His recovery is a 92. And his cut resistance is a 95. Um... Excuse me, holy shit. Um, and then when you look at his top moves, you've got his uh, his body roundhouse is at level 5. He's got level 5 wrestling transitions, level 5 wrestling sweeps, level 5 wrestling reversals, and level 4 rear naked choke. So, I mean, his stats are cracked out. That's just, that's pretty much the best way you can say it. I try to shoot on him again. He denies it very easily. I mean, this is pretty much what you deal with anytime you fight Zayaf. Taking him down is just so freaking difficult. He shoots on me. I deny it. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't Deny that. Let me see. What did I actually do here? All right, try to take his back. He denies that very easily. He tries that again. I missed that deny. He rolls directly into full guard. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play... And let me tell you guys, man, grappling. He rolls into an on bar. I forgot he did that. On bar to back sit in. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. You got to maintain dominant position. Deny that. Yeah, grappling online is way, 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 way... Like, it's a, it's a different beast, bro. It really is. Yeah, he muscle modified that for sure. Tries to take my back. I deny that. I think I got up here. No. He reverses that. He tries to mount. Nope. That Kimura was quick. Alright, what did we do here? I'm denying these. Ah, he gets it. <laughs> kind of butchered that one. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Mokaya ground and pound from half guard. You know, a lot of players have played this game for as long as it's been out, even UFC 4, and they've really never experienced what it's like to fight somebody else that's high level on land. It really is a different beast, and I don't know if there's any way that they can recreate that feeling online. It's probably impossible, you know what I mean? Just because of, like, just the nature of it, you know? Like, having to travel, it's just, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not possible. But, man, when you do... I feel like that's really when you get to experience this game the way that it was meant to be experienced. One, the graphics as well, 
the responsive nature of everything. It's just a different. It's a completely different experience Ready, playing on land. Now at this point, I was looking at our stamina again. I was playing this particular match with the with the patch that should be already be out right now. Yeah, the patch is already out right now. Uh, we were playing, and I was looking at the stamina, thinking to myself, "Man, like this is the flyaway division." Usually in this weight class, you're able to retain a lot of stamina, even when you guys are going crazy, throwing a bunch of combinations at each other. But because of the change they've done to the stamina where you recover, not as much in between rounds. Like what it means is, I mean, this is what happens. You might be able to use a lot of stamina in each round, but in between rounds, you're just not going to recover much. Which, you know, is going to lead to like a lot, of, a lot of strategy. Like, are you going to try to you know withstand damage and let your opponent kind of you know go to town on you and then maybe later on you try to get them because they've blown their load maybe i think depending on how good you are as a player that might be a good strategy but right there i rock them you know that might be a good strategy but there's always a chance also that you're just going to sit there taking damage. Now with Zayaf, you notice, I remember I was telling him right there, like, no, 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 I'm, I'm backing up, I'm backing up, because I'm not exchanging with you. He's very, very good at winning exchanges. And again, it's, it's like, <laughs> you might look at that and you might say to yourself, oh, you know, it's just meta, you know, this brain dead, but it's, it's IQ. It's like, why is it that... Most times when you try to exchange with him, you're going to lose. Why is that? Well, it's knowledge. He understands how the game works. He knows exactly where he's safe, where he's not safe. Even in those like super, like right there, I get rocked. Even in those super high-paced fights that look extremely chaotic, there's still a lot of thinking going on between these guys. And he's played this enough. He's studied this game enough to understand exactly where he is safe. And he'll put himself... In situations that you might consider to be very risky. And you just know. Oh, I get dropped with the head kick. You just know he's going to win that exchange. So this round started off okay for me. Rocking him. And just freaking let, let me get him dropped. Thirty seconds to go. All right, twenty seconds to go in the round. I shoot again, but man, every single time that I've shot in this match has been a waste of time, bro. Just a complete waste, wasting stamina, not able to get takedowns. It was uh, it was pretty uh, demoralizing, I gotta say. But that's just what happens, man. Right, back to the stools we go offensively a lot to like from him but on defense he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, so be we've done be three rounds now moving on to round number four catch him with that uppercut right there It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the well, most fighters can't keep up this Now, when you compare uh, Mohamed Makayev to Kaikara France, right? On the feet, there's definitely some big differences. One, Kaikara France has a speed of... He's got a speed of, like, 96, right? Compared to Mohamed's 92. Um, Kai Karl France has a punch power of 95 compared to Mohamed's 90. Uh, Kai Karl France has a accuracy of 93 compared to Mokayev's 89. Pretty much like every single strike in metric, Kai Karl France is better. And then you also look at his takedown defense. Takedown defense of a 95. This is a very good pick. He's a very good pick. And, uh, you know, it... it, it then the fight that the, the player that I'm fighting is, is very very good you kind of see why it's very difficult to actually get this man down 
But look at our stamina, bro. This is round number four of a flyweight fight. I mean, if you were to think back to before the patch, dude, when's the last time you saw a flyweight fight where the fighters have their stamina this low? And again, it's not like we are throwing a ridiculous amount of shots. Like, we really are not. Like, we're not really block breaking each other or anything like that. We're, you know, we're kind of keeping things sane, <laughs> I'd say. But we got tired fairly quickly. Like, this this is what it should look like right here. I try to shoot on him again easily. I mean, that was a good shot, bro. I pulled, shot, nothing. You look at how tired we both are, bro. Round number four, we are gassed. This is incredible. Kaya's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. Ah, what's going on? Cut men in the game got to think they're going to be busy in between rounds. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into him. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. What a fight so far. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, the round is over, and Mokayev's corner really starting to show some... You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier round. He's right back. Oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what was going on with the with the footage, but it was getting like real choppy. So I hope that does not continue here. Hope this, that doesn't continue. Sometimes, man, with these 4K footages, man, like it can get really, really, really weird and choppy. Ah, look at that. I was trying to like slip into a clinch, but it just did not work at all. Get him right there. I believe I tried to go for a guillotine again. What happened here? Ah, he just went the other direction. That's what happened right there. Yeah, man, I pretty much got my ass whooped in this fight. He gets back up to his feet. And I get knocked out right there. Yep. So there you go. There you go. One fight where I won with Mohamed Mokayev. And a second fight where I got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, this character is pretty good. Um, I've used him a few more times after, after this fight, of course. And honestly, man, against most people, you're just going to be fine. Like, you're going to be just fine. He's, he's going to be very competitive in his weight class. He's a very good addition. He's a grappler's delight. I mean, you just got to get the fight to the ground and you're good. And his striking is not bad either. Like, you'll be able to compete with most people if you're using Mohamed Mokayev. He's a solid, solid addition. And as you can see, man, these are our strike totals. Totally reasonable strike totals for a five-round fight. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. You guys rock. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a good one.